dear members of the Roland Hetzer International Society of Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgery. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you for the celebration of the 10th anniversary of the founding of our esteemed society. Let me begin by thanking all of you, the members, for giving life to this society and being joined in the effort of promoting academic exchange and lively debates. The first decade of our society has been extremely successful. A total of 19 expert forum addressing the most burning and interesting new subjects in the field of cardiothoracic and vascular surgery are testimony to the great energy that has been injected by all of you into this society. I would first thank the founding president of our society, Jürgen Enker, who has worked hard in starting the society, bringing us together, and paving the way for this very successful endeavor. We all owe enormous gratitude to Eva Demo, who as the Secretary General has been really fulfilling the role of a true Secretary General in running the show, making it happen, and again, holding us all together. Of course, this society would not be in existence with the leadership and the mentorship of Professor Roland Hetzer, who had the visionary idea to create a cardiothoracic and vascular surgery society, bringing together all his friends, collaborators, and his students. Theodore Billroth once was asked if he can say something nice about his teacher, uh, Langenbeck. And the only thing that Theodore Billroth had to say was, all that's valuable about a teacher is the success of his students. Now, while our society is much more than just a society of students, remembering the good old days where we were together working in such an exciting environment as Berlin formed in the late 80s, in the 1990s, and the early 2000s. This society is much more than a group of people who are tremendously in debt for all what, what they learned at the German Heart Institute in Berlin. This society is a really living entity of those who want to continue the spirit that Roland Hetzer so successfully created in that institution, a spirit of active debate, pushing the envelope, developing new therapies, testing them in the clinical environment, and generating valuable knowledge and spreading that knowledge around the world. Mentoring students, mentoring young physicians all around the world, particularly in Japan, China, and South America, who would become leaders in the field in their respective countries. Because today, more than ever, we are faced with the fact that Europe and the United States have access to advanced medical therapies that are not available to everybody else around the world. And this discrepancy in access to medical care forms a substantial problem that needs to be addressed. And we see that in the use of COVID vaccination, we see that in advanced cardiovascular therapies, we see it in many areas. Now, as I said, the first 10 years of our society have been extremely successful. It is now up to us to carry this society further, carry the ideas and the spirit further 
and create the future of this society and thereby helping to create the future of cardiothoracic and vascular surgery. I have no doubt that all the friends who come together in our society will have an easy task to fulfilling this mission and I'm looking forward to the many coming years where finally we can be together again in person as I said in our last um, expert forum where we can touch and hug each other again and do not have to communicate through Zoom only. We will embrace these new technologies and I think they will be actually very helpful in enlarging the audience and spreading the information because that's what we are dedicated to, advancing the knowledge and spreading the knowledge. Do good and talk about it. That was one of the many sentences that Roland Hetzer told me in our very productive and inspiring collaboration over the years. This society will continue to do good, but we have to continue also to talk about it because spreading knowledge is the real purpose of academic medicine. I thank you all for your support and I'm looking forward to our collaboration in the future. Happy birthday and thank you very much.